was a great, invincible warrior. And no one dared to stand in my way. Hey, what's up my gorgeous fighters on internet? Zebra here. Welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Today, in this video, we're gonna talk about balance changes. And first, we have Bulwark here. Bulwark defense has been increased at level 7 and his attack damage also increased to 5% but I didn't find any 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 change in Bulwark because I have been I have been playing this guy for 7 days now he is doing normal I didn't find any damage buff but I do noticed he got a defense defense buff before it's like 3800 health at level 11 and now he got 3970 and yes I didn't find any attack damage buff and he's still quite slow he didn't got any buff like buffing his attack damage speed he didn't get he didn't got that buff he's still like he's still same like before And up next, we got Fire Guard here. Unlike Bulwark, his buffs are noticeable. He got attack damage buff. He do a lot of damage now. Already he have painful burns at level 10 and now they buffed it. They buffed him. I think it's not necessary. He he always do a lot of damage with painful burns and now his normal attacks also do a lot of damage. And up next we have Ling here. Ling has the highest defense in this game. And now again they buffed his defense. Why I don't know. I don't know why. And his attack damage has been increased. And also you can look the slashing blows the animation has been changed. Now it's glowing like fire. And also he got shadow power increases from 5% to 8% at level 7 look this guy he just hit me with fire and he used his shadow move but but I didn't take a lot of damage because I have Ling have so much defense and also his slashing blows animation has been changed now it's glowing like fire And now we have Marcus here, the general's king. He got some good buffs, you know. Defense has been increased and attack damage has been increased. And mainly his shadow damage is increased. Now everyone can take shadow warrior again. He don't give a lot of block breakers with general's luck. But shadow warrior with shadow lord is so good. I'm not using shadow lord now. I forgot to take that ability and next video 
when I make him at level 10, I lose Shadow Lord plus what's that level 10 ability? I forgot that name. Anyway, that that with that ability, he do a lot of damage with his shadow moves. And now we have Lynx here, he got a big 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 huge buff, like he do lot of damage now cause his attack damage has been increased. Before this update he all, he, 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 do, he did lot of damage and now they buffed him. I don't know why they buffing like these characters. In previous update they buffed Shang and now this update they buffed Lynx. Now you are gonna take Lynx and they, and they spam it tactical retreat or hunters in the shadow whatever they're gonna use bomb on you and they maintain range they won't they won't attack you until they attack this links is just a spamming character you know there are few guys who play aggressively but most of the people use bombs uh, they wait until they get ranged uh, ranged weapon they use ranged weapon they use special attack heavy attack and what not and they will camp until they get their bomb again uh, I hate this type of characters you know I hate Shang I hate Lynx they, they're just spamming characters and now we have Shang here I don't want to play with Shang so we're gonna uh, take a look on opponents gameplay See, I'm using Lynx and uh, opponent using Shang 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 people are useless, you know, they have no skills, just shadow abilities. How many times we can escape the shadow abilities, you know? Every time he hit with shadow moves, his shot damage has been increased. And now they and now they buff his defense. Uh, that's the worst thing. And they said they decreased uh, shadow power damage of Shang, but I don't think so. Cause you will see now, uh, my Ling is dead. I'll bring my markers now. L let's see. He's gonna wait for like just what they do. Get use Shadow Genesis, get full Shadow Bar, and come in front of you or camp, and they use unescapable Shadow Shadow combo. Look at look at the damage of his Shadow moves and combo. It goes to twenty one no 17 i'm sorry and my marcus is dead with one shadow combo my marcus is dead but five guard they buffed the five guard now now sh now the biggest enemy of shang is five guard you will understand after watching this gameplay watch this he used his shadow move Trying to continue the combo, keep the combo going. I have the I have blast equipped, and now I'm going to use blast. And now look at the damage of the painful bones plus. And dead Shang is dead in one combo. I don't know why they buff buffed this fire guard that much. Now this fire guard is at number one position. If you ask me who is at number one, or if you ask me who, who are your top five characters in this game, I say I say Fire Guard at number one, and 
Helga at number two, Sarge at number three, Shang at number four, and at number five, Links maybe. Yes, Links. Links is good hero, but I don't suffer when opponent uses Links. You know, I all I almost kill every Links with my Fire God or Sarge. Cause Sarge is also a great character but also a spamming character if you equip that what is that commander's press no one can stop you you know even links can can't stop you if you just spam with the with the commander's press oh, oh, oh. he just shout like that sarge <laughs> no one can stand in front of him if you spam with command express that's the main reason i i remove shang sarge from my team i always use command express i always use like you know i don't use any other moves if i use sarge i just spam with the command express and uh, i don't like it I, I i'm getting easy wins that's why i remove him from my team that's the one of the reason i don't play with sarge and we have Helga. Helga also a pretty easy character to use. Base attack, up attack, and a special move. You will get a full light. She gonna use if you use repetence. She's invulnerable when using the light shield of light. And this midnight is so good, but Helga have the best afterlife in this whole game. One afterlife can change the whole match just like that. See, this midnight killed my Helga and she put me in afterlife. But this midnight is dead. They should nerf, the, they should nerf uh, Helga's afterlife. Because she do a lot of damage. She have invulnerability. She do a lot of damage. And also, she have good defense. But I want to nerf her shot i want to nerf her afterlife instead of nerfing her afterlife they reduced her defense not not so much but they decreased a little it also jet got buff defense buff and attack damage buff not so much but she got a buff yes that's it, we talked about Ling, we talked about Monk, with Fire God, we talked about Helga, Marcus, Jack Bulwark, Jet, Links. Yeah, now go to our Discord and join the discussion. Like this video, subscribe and ring the notification bell. Zebra out.